Hello YouTube, my name is Travis and this is Bacon and Backpacking. Uh, you guys are going to have to forgive me today, it is very windy outside so hopefully the windscreen on the microphone does its job, but uh, basically what we're going to be talking about today is uh, how to pack food and water for a multi-day backpacking trip. So what I'm basically going to do here is just go meal by meal and uh, kind of show you guys what I have for each day. Uh, I'm going to read off a list because I mean I've got like 15 meals on here, okay? So that first meal is just going to be dried mangoes, protein bar, all right? The second meal is going to be ramen noodles and then chicken packs from Walmart. So, you know, this is one of the one of the cheaper meals you can get. I mean, this is probably like $2 or $3, something like that. I got Stowaway Gourmet for this trip. Um, these things are supposed to be like the best tasting, you know, freeze dried meals you can get. They're like 17, 18 bucks a pop. They're super expensive. Uh, this one is bison beer, black bean chili. So I'm super excited for this. Uh, there's a little over 700 calories in here and over 40 grams of protein. So these are gonna be like my morale boosting meals that I'm gonna have on the trip. All right, so let's go into day two, which is gonna give you guys a, a little bit better of an idea because it's gonna be a full day, okay? So I got these Kodiak oats. So these are just like protein fortified oatmeal. These ones are strawberry. Um, I'll probably also, I have about a cup and a half of trail mix. This is kind of like my miscellaneous food. Like if I'm feeling a little bit hungry or like I need a little bit more, you know, staying power between meals. Having these, uh, these various like nuts in here, like cashews, almonds, that's going to add a little bit more fat into the diet. It's going to keep you satiated, keep you full a little bit longer. Meal two is going to be back to dried mangoes, protein bar. Meal three is going to be back to ramen, chicken packets, okay? Meal four is going to just be, you know, to eat on the go. It's going to be like a Cliff Bar. Uh, this is actually like the, I think the Aldi brand, and I actually like them better than Cliff Bars. And then a protein bar. This doesn't look like much, but this is 480 calories right here, so not too bad. One of my more creative meals, I love instant potatoes. I mean, you basically just add these things to hot water, boom, they're instant. Uh, this is even quicker than, than ramen noodles, okay? So I'm gonna have this with some summer sausage, all right? Now, this summer sausage is gonna kinda be used, um, again, as like a miscellaneous type deal. Like if I'm feeling a little bit hungry, like I need some more calories or something, that's a really fast way to get some calories. And then my final meal for day two is gonna be another Stowaway Gourmet. This one is wild boar bacon bean stew. Uh, <laughs> these things look freaking awesome. I'm super excited to get to try them out. They're always sold out. Um, it took me a month after I ordered them to get them shipped, and I'll talk about that a little bit later, okay? So there's day two. Um, day three is gonna be like kind of like another another half day, okay? So we're gonna be back to the Kodiak protein oats and uh, probably some, some trail mix with that just for a little bit more staying power. And then protein and Cliff Bar again. Um, you know, this stuff is kind of a, you know, it's a balance. I need a lot of food and normally I'm eating like 250 to 270 grams of protein a day and it's really hard to get that backpacking uh, you know without a lot of weight. Um, you can take dehydrated things like you know beef jerky and stuff like that but one you know jerky is really expensive and then two just like all those preservatives and everything just messes with my stomach for whatever reason I just can't do a ton of beef jerky anymore so you end up with things like this like these tuna and chicken packets which do have water in them so they're going to be a little bit heavier than say like a jerky or something like that because like i said my goal with this wasn't to be like ultra light or anything like that um that's fun and that's cool and if i was doing a four or a five day trip absolutely um but for you know two half days and a full day i'm more concerned with just having the energy that I need rather than trying to get it as, as light as I possibly can. Um, I did take weight into the consideration. There are some lightweight options, you know, like the oats, like the instant potatoes, 
like the ramen, obviously the freeze-dried foods are really light too. Um, mainly it's just the proteins that are that are heavy. Liquid IVs, these are just like an electrolyte drink mix. For coffee, I'm gonna take four Tasters Nasties. <laughs> All right guys, so the next thing I wanted to show you, um, this is super cool and it's it's kind of sentimental to me. Um, this is going to be my, my new food bag that I ordered. I've just been using like, a, you know, random stuff sacks and dry bags and stuff like that. And I wanted to get a dedicated food bag because I'm going to be doing um, multi-day trips, you know, a lot this year. So I wanted to get a good food bag. This is a custom printed food bag made by Hilltop Packs, okay? And this is special to me because this is my puppy Jody. Um, I had her for 17 years and uh, she just passed away um, about a month ago. So, you know, I, I thought it would be cool, just kind of something to, you know, remember her by while I was like out on trail and stuff. So thank you very much to Hilltop Packs. Um, you know, just having the ability to, to do something like this is, is really cool. Um, this is a Dyneema bag, so it's super lightweight. And, uh, you know, I've got three days of food in here. Like I said, I did not try to be ultra light or lightweight here. Three days of food and this thing's only about halfway full. So as you guys can see, there's a little button up here. And then it is a roll top. All right, then you've got your buckle right here, and you can, it's got this little loop right here to hang, uh, you know, from a, from a bear line. So this thing's super cool. Um, you know, like I said, guys, it, it, I think it's important to have like things to like boost morale on trail, especially if you do a bunch of like solo backpacking like I do. Um, I've got like a little a poop emoji. <laughs> poop kit bag. Um, I'll have to show you guys that if you haven't seen it. Um, and then I have this so I can I can think about like good memories with my with my puppy and stuff. So all right, gotta hurry up, starting to get rained on. Um, there's two companies that I wanted to address real quick. I kind of already went over um, Hilltop Packs. The other one is Stowaway Gourmet. So I'm willing to pay you know the extra price for high quality stuff. Like I said these are 17 or 18 dollars a piece. Then you're gonna pay shipping on top of that. Hilltop Packs lets you know when you go to custom order something, they let you know that there's going to be probably a two, uh, two maybe three week lead time. They actually over delivered. Um, I believe I got it in something like 10 or 11 days. So they over delivered. Stowaway Gourmet has no sort of disclaimer um, on their website whatsoever to tell you that there's a lead time, but there is. So after months of trying to get these two particular meals because they're always sold out always sold out um, i get the email notification and then i forget about it and then later in the day i go to order it and they're sold out you know for for months on end i try to get some of these and there's nothing on the website about a lead time these both showed as in stock i ordered them they didn't create the shipping label for three weeks and then another week went by after they created the shipping label. It took them another week to actually give it to the carrier. It was like 28 days it took for, um, I believe this came FedEx, I'm not positive. But it took like 28 days just for them to get these to the carrier. And then the carrier delivered them in like three days. So just be aware these are very expensive. And uh, whether or not they tell you there's a lead time on there. There is. Um, if somebody else had a different experience, I'd love to hear it because I couldn't believe. Like, I was trying to get these for a trip, and here we are four trips later. Um, I finally have these, so just something to keep in mind, guys. Yeah, guys, I think we're going to wrap that up. Um, I appreciate all you watching. I appreciate all the new subs. Uh, we're going to be approaching 200 subs here pretty soon. Uh, the channel's up to about 7,000 views, so I just really appreciate it, guys. You know, you tuning in. Uh, you know, give me some feedback. Tell me how everything's going with the channel, you know, what sort of content you want to see, you know, if you like the videos. And then, uh, you know, comment, comment down below, you know, what type of backpacking food do you guys take? Uh, I'd be really interested to hear it because I'm always looking for something to kind of, you know, break up the monotony a little bit and, and get some, you know, more creative, more flavorful uh, meal ideas on trail. So, again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.